In Fast and Furious 6, auto enthusiasts Vin Diesel and Paul Walker team up with FBI agent Dwayne Johnson to take down a madman who's trying to steal the parts to make a powerful weapon. Why should the military or the intelligence community hunt down a terrorist when they could get a bunch of dudes with hot cars to do it instead? This is one of those movies that's only concerned with giving the audience a visceral thrill. There's a whole lot of over-the-top car action, but that's about it. The characters are a bunch of one-dimensional bros, the villain is completely generic, and the plot is virtually non-existent. And don't even get me started on the way Fast and Furious 6 willfully ignores little things like the laws of physics. I love a crazy car chase movie as much as the next guy. However, I also prefer my action movies to put those car chases into a context so that I actually care about who's chasing whom. This movie is only interested in being as big and as dumb as possible at every single turn. Mission accomplished. In fairness, I realize that I'm in the minority on the Fast and Furious series. If you love the previous movies, ignore everything I've just said. You'll love this one too. Don't let the fact that I'm Mr. Cranky Pants deter you from seeing it. But you know what? This movie is just not for me. Getting stuck in traffic for two hours would have been more fun. On a scale of one to four, I give it one and a half speeding tickets.